we're going to see who can build the best volcano. Whoa, volcanoes are so cool. We only have 10 minutes to build, Mongo. So which side do you want to build on? The red side or the green side? Obviously, I'm picking the red side. Wudo, the best color in the world. Actually, Mongo, green is the best color in the world. So I'm going on the green side. I've built 100 volcanoes before, Wudo. So good luck trying to beat me. I know for a fact that Mongo has never built a volcano before. But neither have I. So we're going to cheat just a little bit and spawn in this giant volcano for our build. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. Wow, look at how much detail it has. And look, there's lava up here. I want to start building our traps and challenges from the very tippy top of that volcano. So the only way me and Mongo can get to the top is by building a simple rail system just like this. All right, I just need to add a few more over here. And boom, this should be a good stopping place for me and Mongo. We need some space to start building our first challenge. So I'm going to replace some of the lava up here with air. Whoa, now we can see the very bottom and build a little slime block landing zone for Mongo to land on. All he'll have to do is walk from this railway, come over here and jump down. Whoa. The first thing I'm going to have Mongo do is some lava parkour. But this isn't going to be any normal lava parkour because I'm going to use this command block to set a special, special effect onto Mongo. And that's going to be jump boost. Now, whenever you step on that pressure plate, you can jump really, really high. Whoa, that's so cool. But now that that's done, I can make a bunch of really, really hard jumps for Mongo to make that are super, super high up, just like this. I'm going to make sure every jump is nice and far away from one another so we can make it as hard as possible for Mongo to complete. I'm even going to make some really, really hard jumps using these fences. They're super, super thin, so you have to jump really, really well if you want to land on top of it properly. I'm even going to make some of these jumps out of slime blocks to give Mongo that extra jumping power. All right, let me add a few more jumps right over here towards the end. And now the last thing I need to do is set the entire floor to lava. Oh my gosh, that looks so scary. I'm even gonna make this a lot scarier by spawning in a couple of my friends. Lava monsters and whoa, they look so scary. Look at their eyes and look at their sharp faces. These guys are super, super mean. And if Mongo comes anywhere close to them, he's gonna die. So let's spawn a bunch of these all around this parkour to make it as hard as possible for Mongo to finish. But you know I can't just leave my friends without naming at least one of them. So I'm gonna name this super, super strong lava monster to Magma Bob. Wait a second, Magma Bob. What is it? What are you telling me? Oh, I get what you mean. Guys, Magma Bob just told me that you have to subscribe right now if you wanna keep on watching the video. So do it in three, two, one, boom. There you go. Go. Now you're subscribed. Good thinking there, Magma Bob, because we don't want the viewers to miss out the insane trap that we're going to build next. And trust me, this one's going to be even harder for Mongo to finish. Let me place three rows of tripwire hooks right over here and connect all of them with some super, super long string. Now I just need to break some blocks back here and connect all of those tripwire hooks with redstone. Now you might be asking yourself, Wudo, why do we need these super, super long tripwires and a bunch of redstone in the back. Well, that's because I'm going to link those tripwire hooks all the way over here and connect them to these dispensers. But these aren't just any normal dispensers because we're going to fill them entirely with blaze spawn eggs. Mongo's going to have to fight and kill a hundred blazes if he wants to move on to our next challenge. So let me continue extending this redstone all the way out here and then place dispensers every few blocks so we can store and spawn in as many blazes as we can. Now to make sure our blaze trap works, Let's test it out by placing some bee spawn eggs inside each of these dispensers. Now, when I fall into these tripwire hooks, it should activate and whoa, oh my gosh, it worked. Now, imagine all of these cute little bees were actually giant scary blazes. Let's replace that boring stone with some soul sand and some soul soil. That means it's going to be super, super hard for Mongo to get across with all these blazes attacking him. It's genius. Now, let me just build a little platform up here before Mongo jumps down. So we can place down five dispensers to fill up with some golden armor with a bow and arrows. Now I just need to place down some pressure plates. And if we walk on it, it should give us all of our armor. I know Mongo's a little bit of a noob though. So I'm going to place a sign that says, please step on pressure plates. Boom, 
boom there we go now our second trap is entirely complete so we're gonna continue making our next challenge this one's gonna be a lot more fun but it's still gonna be really really hard for mongo to finish inside this wall of diamond blocks i'm gonna make a super cool lava maze to build it i need to place blocks like this on the very top and then break blocks down here just like this then what it lets me do is place lava just like this so it looks like a wall of lava it's so sick now all i need to do is just make a bunch of twists and turns just like this that's gonna make it really hard for mongo to finish i'll place some more lava right over here and make a trail all the way to the end of this diamond room i just gotta put lava on all these twists and turns just like this add some more lava along these edges and boom that should be perfect now if i come down here to take a look you can see that this entire maze's walls is all lava so if mongo makes one little mistake of touching the lava he's gonna burn to death just to trick with mongo even more i'm gonna make the exit to this maze a secret door mongo's gonna think that this is two diamond blocks when instead it's actually a door for him to move on to our next challenge and that challenge is gonna be a huge tnt run i'm gonna need three types of blocks for this trap tnt sand and a pressure plate first let me just cut out all this stone and leave a nice big empty gap now i'll place one tnt over here and then go all the way over here and select another tnt i'm gonna set that entire layer to a ton of tnt blocks because next we're also gonna add an entire layer of sand now to test and make sure this works let me just place down one pressure plate right over here and step on it and it should drop and look at that the tnt explodes whoa that is so cool so now let me just fix that and now i can start placing down a bunch of pressure plates i just need to add a few more and boom there we go now our entire tnt run course is finished but that's not all because after mongo finishes that we're gonna need a lot of buttons first let me set the walls of this challenge to a nice block like white wool i like to call this challenge find the button basically mongo is gonna have to look through and press all these different buttons in order to open this iron door so let's just continue placing these buttons all around like this and make them as random as possible to make mongo completely lose his mind but that's not the only thing that Mongo's gonna have to worry about. I'm gonna set the entire roof to lava, but right now it's covered with glass. When Mongo enters this room, I'm gonna delete all that glass and all that lava is gonna start flowing. So let me just add the last few buttons around just like this. And let's choose the real button to be this button. So to do that, I'm gonna break these two wool blocks and then connect redstone dust all the way over here to that iron door just like that. Once Mongo presses this button, the iron door will open and he'll be able to to move on to our next trap. For our next challenge, Mongo's gonna need to go up a couple of blocks. So let me just build a little staircase and then set some narrow walls just like this. I call this challenge the fake block walkway. First, I'll set the entire floor of the room to be gold blocks. All of them are real and absolutely nothing will happen if you run around or step on them. But I have this super cool block called the ghost block. And if I break some gold blocks and place down some ghost blocks instead, they look exactly the same. Except there's a big difference between the two because if i walk on top of these ghost blocks i fall straight through oh no so using these special ghost blocks i can make it super super hard for mongo to get across this hallway because a lot of these blocks are gonna be completely fake i'm just gonna randomly place them around just like this and boom there we go now there's a ton of fake gold blocks and a bunch of real gold blocks oh yeah and if mongo falls down i'm gonna replace the entire bottom part to lava so he's just gonna burn to Death. But once Mongo makes it past that, he's gonna walk all the way through this hallway and over here to our next big challenge. And this challenge is gonna involve one very big question. Mongo's gonna have to choose between two different colors. Either red, that normal boring color, or lime green, the best color in the world. I'm gonna build two separate rooms for both of these colors with a different type of challenge in each of them. Except if Mongo chooses this red side, I'm gonna make the challenge extremely hard. But if he chooses is the green side i'm gonna make it super duper easy so let me just fill in the walls of these rooms and just like that we're ready to start building i'm gonna set the red sides floor to be super super scary with lava and a bunch of these scary blocks the red section isn't supposed to look easy at all so i'm just gonna place a bunch of super scary mobs like wither skeletons and zombies they're all super scary mobs so i'm gonna give them all the same name of bing bob a super super scary name trust me you do do not want to walk in the red room and see the bing bob wither skeleton waiting to kill you 
that's so scary. I'm even going to place down some cobwebs to make it even harder for Manga to escape once he enters this room. Now, let me just add a roof and boom. There we go. The red room is complete. Now, quick, let me escape before any mobs get in. And just so that Mongo can't tell through the windows of this iron door that there's a bunch of scary mobs inside, I'm going to place a painting just like that. Now, I can place a sign and call this side the red side. But enough with all that scary mob nonsense and let's start working on the beautiful, amazing green color side. For the green side, I'm going to set the entire floor to grass blocks because they're so peaceful. Now, I'm going to grab some bone meal and use it to plant a bunch of flowers and get some more amazing grass. Wow, doesn't this look so amazing? Of course, it wouldn't be peaceful without a nice little water fountain. So I'm going to build one right in the corner right over here. Wow, look at how peaceful that looks. I could literally sit here all day. I'm also going to build a little sandy section right over here because there's a special friend of mine that I want to spawn in. Let me just spawn him in and take a look. It's Jimbledorf. Oh my gosh, Jimbledorf. I missed you. You're my favorite turtle friend. How do you like it inside my giant volcano? Don't you think it looks super, super cool? But wait a second, Jimbledorf. Wait, what are you telling me? Oh, I see what you mean. He told me to tell you guys to go comment hashtag volcano right now. So go do it quick. Now that you've commented hashtag volcano, Jimbledorf is nice and happy and he's so excited that you love our volcano. Anyways, now that we're done inviting Jimbledorf, I can place the last wall over here. Place a lime green roof. And last but not least, place down that iron door, add a pressure plate, and add that painting just like that. Now I'll put a sign that says green side. And boom, there we go. Now both sides are finished. Hopefully Mongo chooses the green side because green is always the way to go in life. I love green! But once Mongo makes it past that, there is still one last thing that he needs to do. He needs to defeat this fun game that I call Lava Run. First, I set a layer of soul sand to make it really, really hard for Mongo to run across because we're gonna add sticky pistons all along the edge of this wall that are gonna be moving back and forth a bunch of slime blocks. Slime blocks are able to push Minecraft players super, super far and launch them across this room. So what I'm gonna do is place a little redstone clock right behind each of these sticky pistons. And if I turn on the clocks with the redstone torch and go take a look, you can see that the slime block is moving back and forth. If Mongo runs into it, he's gonna get launched all the way down here. Except it won't just be stone. I'm gonna set the entire floor to hot lava. Now you can see all the slime blocks moving at different times, making it basically impossible for Mongo to run across. This is gonna be super fun to watch, so make sure you stick around because time is running out. Let me just make an exit over here so we can start working on Mongo's celebration room. So I'm gonna set the walls of this room to be different types of red blocks. Take a look at that. It's so nice. Hey, Woodo, there's only 15 seconds left. What? 15 seconds? That's like barely anything. Quick, let me finish up his celebration room just by adding some random gold around here because he is a king after all. And now let's fill his entire chest with a bunch of his favorite items like red blocks, diamonds, enchanted golden apples. And I'll even sneak in a little green slime ball just in the corner where he can barely tell. <laughs> now I'll just put down a sign that says, congrats, Mongo. You won. And boom, there we go. Now the celebration room and the entire volcano is complete. Oh my gosh, this thing is so cool. Not only does it look absolutely amazing, but we also added so many cool traps and challenges inside that I literally cannot wait for Mongo to try and beat. It's going to be so much fun. Woodo, stop building and come over to my side. Time is up. Already, Mongo? Oh my gosh. I'm actually so excited to see your build. You said that you're really good at building volcanoes, so we're going to see if that's actually true. That's right, Woodo. Get ready to witness the number one volcano in the world. If you say so, I'm going to turn around right now and I'm going to walk backwards. I'm so excited to see this, Mongo. Just tell me when to turn around. Just look at it already, Woodo. Trust me, you need to see this. It's so amazing. Okay, let's see this in three, two, one, and what in the world is this? It's so bad, Mongo. Why is it all built out of dirt? Why would you say it's bad, Woodo? Look, it has all the Pablo Picasso paintings on it. Who are you talking about? Who is that guy? I thought you painted all of these. Yes, I did, Woodo, because I am Pablo Picasso, the number one artist in the world. Anyways, Woodo, try to find the entrance to my pyramid. I bet you can. Okay, what does the sign say? Good luck finding entrance. Are you taunting me, Mongo? Come on, the entrance has to be super easy. It's probably around the corner or something, and, uh, 
wait. Why is the lava of your volcano just on one side of it? What in the world is that? It's just to add a little spice to the volcano. We can't obviously have a volcano without lava. Okay, fine. Uh, pretty interesting how it's only on one side, but Mongo, I literally cannot find the entrance anywhere. Where in the world did you put it? I want to go inside. Okay, fine. Well, I'll give you a hint, I guess. Let's just say I use ghost blocks. That's all I'll say, so good luck. Wait, you use ghost blocks? That means you cheated, Mongo. You're not allowed to use ghost blocks. What? You never said that in the rules, Woodrow. Stop lying. Oh, okay, fine. You probably hit it somewhere here. It's probably like a little hidden block or something, right? What if I just sneak into here and- Wait a second, Mongo! You just walked in that block! Oh no, why did I do that? I just found it, Mongo! There's your secret entrance, you silly, silly man! Anyways, welcome to the next part of the volcano. Good luck, this is lava parkour. Okay, I guess if you say so, Mongo, I'm just gonna jump here and- What the heck? Why would you do that? Oh, <laughs> That's what you get, Woodo. It's only been a minute, Woodo, and you've already died once. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mongo, I'm not dying any more times, okay? You cheated and put that block in front of me. I'm just gonna hop onto this block and then hop onto this one and wait a second, why is this a ghost block too? Mongo! Good luck getting out of there, Wudo. Okay, this is like impossible. How am I gonna jump from inside this block and ow, the lava! Ow, ow, ow! Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on, no! Oh, I've had enough of your silly games, Mongo. No more joking around with me. That's ridiculous. If you make one more joke like that, I'm gonna make your time in my volcano terrible and wait what in the world is this why are there so many silver fishes ow what in the world mongo you didn't even give me a weapon you have to give me something to fight these silver fish quick okay you know what i'm just gonna run inside this room come on come on and i can't even run away help please please and oh 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 oh, oh no okay Woodrow, i guess i'll just kill them for you there you go they should be all dead okay thank you mongo jeez why in the world would you just have me attacked by all those silver fish that was so mean you called my build ugly, so that's what you get, Woodo. Anyways, look, welcome to the next section where you have to go through some super duper hard lasers. Whoa, what is this? Laser parkour? Okay, Mongo, this looks pretty easy, though. Look at those giant gaps between the lasers. Woodo, if you think that's easy, buddy, you must be the greatest Minecraft player of all time because I had a really hard time doing this. Okay, Mongo, you know that I am actually the greatest player of Minecraft in all time. I just gotta hop onto here and then hop onto here and here and here. Boom! Boom, just like that. Wait, what? How did you complete that so fast? You're actually really good at Minecraft, Woodrow. Whatever. Come to the next area where you have to choose between these two liquids. Whoa, what is this? Choose a liquid. Mongo, you didn't even spell choose right. C-H-U-U-Z? What even is that? Woodrow, does this look like school? Why does it matter if I spelled that wrong? Oh, okay, fine. I just have to choose a liquid, right? I mean, I'm a turtle, so obviously I would go in the water one and... But wait a second. Why is this water, like, poisonous? Why am I dying to this Mongo whip. What? No, why are you locking me in here? No. That's what you get, Woodrow. This was clearly fake water, and that's fake lava, so you can go up it. What? You faked me the entire time, Mongo? Why would you do that? You know I'm a turtle, and I can only swim in water, not lava. You're not just any type of turtle, Woodrow. You're a special title, buddy. Get up there. Come on. Oh, okay, fine. I'm going up this magic lava that somehow doesn't kill me, and whoa, what is this now? You have to choose between one of these colors, Woodrow, either red or green. Obviously. Obviously, there is only one correct answer for which of these colors is the best, Mongo. It's the green one. So I'm going to pick the chest with the green right on top of it. And wait a second. What does that sound? Um, um, Mongo's at TNT. And whoa. That's what you get, Woodo. For picking green, you get explosion. Oh, okay, fine. Now what, Mongo? You just exploded your entire volcano. Whatever. I guess you did win, Woodo. So you get a prize. Okay. What is this? Your prize? Congrats. You cheated probably, but... Mongo, I did not cheat. Okay, fine. Let's take a look and what in the world? Okay, I mean, it's green at least, but Mongo, why did you just give me help? I'm sorry, Woodo. That's all I can afford. I have way, way, way better prizes for you inside of my volcano. So let's go take a look at that right now. All right, I'm going to take a look at your build in three, two, one, and what in the world is this, Woodo? Why is it so big? That's your reaction, Mongo? You just ask why it's so big? Not like, oh my God, it's ginormous or like how in the world did you build a volcano like that in only 10 minutes uh, whatever Woodo. how do i go inside of this huge volcano all you need to do is hop inside this minecart mongo and go up the volcano all right mongo have fun and whoa is that lava oh my gosh mongo i think the volcano is about to erupt look at all that lava 
<laughs> oh no, why is this all here? Am I going to die? I hope I don't die. Widow. What's going on? I'm going so fast. I don't know, Mongo, but you better watch out because this volcano is super angry and whoa, you made it to the top. Welcome, Mongo. Thank you, Wudo, but that lava was super duper scary. That's not the only scary thing about this volcano. Look straight down the middle of it. Do you see that? Whoa, I do. Are those slime blocks? Yep, Mongo. You better hop on down there and jump on those unless you're going to die. Okay, I'm going to do it backwards in three, two, one, boom, and whoa, 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 what is this? What is this? Why am I so high? Oh my gosh, Mongo, look, you're inside and whoa, oh my gosh, the lava monsters are attacking you. Wait, what the heck is this thing? What's going on? Oh, that's your first death, Mongo. For some reason, they're not too big of a fan of you. Maybe it's because you're wearing red and not green. Whatever, Wudo, I'm just going to do this parkour. How do I do it? I have a sneaky little command block here that when you step on it, you're going to get jump boost. Now you can jump on to these huge parkour jumps and go all the way around until you make it to the finish line. Okay, come on. I did the first jump, Wudo. And now I'm going to do the second jump. Boom. There you go. Whoa, you're actually pretty good at this, Mongo. Okay, let's go. Another one. Boom. Whoa, that was super close. I got to complete this fast. Come on. And boom. There you go. And boom. There you go. And then this should be super easy. There you go. Come on. I got this again. Look at me, Wudo. I'm literally the best parkour player. Oh my gosh, Mongo. Are you sure you're a king and not actually a rabbit? Because you're hopping like you're a bunny. I'm literally not a rabbit, Wudo. What rabbit has a crown, Wudo? Come on. This should be one of the last jumps. Boom. And this should be one of the last jumps. Okay, okay. Two more left. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, I see lava monsters right next to the finish line, Wudo. This is super, super scary. And boom, I'm done. Yay! Let's go, Mongo! You did it! There's another big challenge ahead for you. So take a look at this sign, Mongo. It says, please step on pressure plates. So go ahead and step on these. All right, then I guess I'll do that, Wudo. Come on, what do I get from it? And whoa, whoa, whoa. Do I have gold armor on right now? That is super cool. Oh my gosh, it matches your king outfit so well, Mongo. What can I say, Wudo? I am quite the fashion guy. All right, well, if you're so confident about your fashion ability, let's test out your PvP ability, Mongo. Let's go. I'm down here. And whoa, whoa, whoa. What is happening? Why is there blazes here? What's going on, Wudo? Uh oh, Mongo. I think you stepped on a tripwire hook and spawned in a ton of blazes, and they're all attacking you at the same time. There's so many. I'm just going to try to go run past them, Wudo. Oh, this is bad. I'm going to die. Oh, my gosh. They all shoot fireballs at you at the same time. Come on, come on, come on. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. You and better run fast. finish line. <laughs> That was so close, Mongo. You barely made it alive there. Wudo, you've died way more times than my base. Let's be honest. Okay, Mongo. Some viewer will comment right now saying how many times I died and how many times you have died so far. But you know what, Mongo? That doesn't matter right now because there's another major challenge ahead for you to complete. This is a lava maze and the walls are made completely out of lava. So if you touch them even a little bit, you're going to go on fire. Wait, that is super scary. But I'm going to test if this is real lava or not. Come on in. Wait, wait, wait. That is real lava. Let me be careful. That is super duper hot. I told you, Mongo. There's no water here, so you better be careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do I go? This is a dead end. Are you serious right now? Okay, let's go over here and wait, wait, wait. What's over here? Oh, there's two ways I can go. Either the right way, which is a dead end, or the left way. What is the left way? Nice. Another dead end. Would I really? Okay, there's one way left this way and wait, wait, what? What the heck? The door just opened when I came here. Wait, what? How in the world did that happen? Were you right-clicking, Mongo? Because you weren't able to see that. I guess I I did, and the door opened. Let's go. I have some really good luck. Oh, okay, fine. I guess you got through that, Mongo, and that wasn't too tricky for you, but trust me, this next one is going to be really, really hard. Whoa, what in the world is this, Wudo? Well, Mongo, this is a game that I call TNT Run. Basically, when you step on these pressure plates, the block underneath you falls, and you will die if you fall with it. Hmm, I want to test if there's TNT below this, so let me try to put this legging on top, and whoa, whoa, whoa. There is actually TNT there, Wudo. I believe you. I promise. Miss. Oh, yeah, Mongo. Did you see it just blow up there? That is no joke. So you better hurry up and make it across before you do blow up everything. Fine, I'm counting. One, two, three, and whoa, wait, wait. How are you actually doing this, Mongo? No, you're not supposed to be able to do it so fast. Get away from me. Let's go, Wudo. I'm going to beat this thing. No, no, no. You're hitting me off, you cheater. Oh, goodbye, Mongo. You just blew up with the rest of that TNT. But because you basically made it to the very end, Mongo, I guess I'll let it slide. Wait, Wudo, what is this? room why is there a bunch of buttons here i call this find the button you need to find the right button that opens up this iron door otherwise do you see the lava above you right now well if you don't find the button in time that lava is gonna come down and completely drown you and burn you to death whoa 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 i do not want to burn Wudo. i'm gonna start pressing these buttons all right mongo you better hurry up because i'm about to break this glass oh no 
please don't, Uro. I need to find this button as soon as possible. I'm going to give you five more seconds, Mongo, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, and okay. The lava is getting cut down, and it's coming, Mongo, and it's coming fast. You better hurry up. Whoa, I see it, Uro. It's like right there. I'm going to die if I don't find the button soon. Come on, where is this thing? All right, hurry up, Mongo. You better be quick. And wait, wait, wait. You actually found it. Wait, what the it's heck? right here. It's right here. What the heck? That was so obvious. Wait, what? How did you find that, that wasn't even the right button. You cheated. No, I didn't. Well, the button was right there, and I just pressed it. Oh, okay. I guess that was a mistake on my part, but you barely made it alive, okay? That was super, super close. But guess what, Mongo? You are totally gonna die here. This is what I call the fake block pathway, Mongo. These look like all real gold blocks, right? Yeah, they look like pretty good blocks to me. Well, actually, Mongo, only some of these blocks are real, but the other ones are completely fake, and only I can see the fake ones. Oh, really, Woodo? This doesn't look too hard though i can easily pass this wait what how you can't even tell which blocks are fake if you go on top of a fake one you're gonna fall into this lava and die well Udo, ever since i was born i had a really good smelling ability so watch me do this i can sniff off the bad ones okay fine go ahead how in the world do you smell fake blocks just run on over already okay right here is there's no fake blocks okay i just have to keep on going this way okay i have to take a turn somewhere here there you go this should be correct over here somewhere is the real block um i don't know mongo that just seems like a dead end i would probably go the other way if i were you all right there you go this way seems correct okay a few more blocks like this all right my nose is telling me to go left and right i'm gonna go this way this seems correct there you go and then now we've reached the end widow let's go Wait, how how in the world was your smelling ability that good you shouldn't be able to do that mongo but come on over here mongo because we have another big challenge ahead for you you have to choose between two very very, very important colors. Either you can go on this uh, boring red side ugh, or you can go on this amazing, beautiful bright green side. Hmm, Woodo, green is the ugliest color in the world, so I'm gonna pick red. Let's go. And wait, wait, what's inside here? What's going on? What are these mobs? Woodo, am I gonna die? Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm gonna die. Bingo Bob is gonna kill me. Okay, Mongo, no, his name is Bing Bob, and yes, he killed you because you chose the color red. Why in the world wouldn't you pick green, Mongo? The most amazing, peaceful color ever. Ever. Since you rigged it, I guess I'll go green and whoa. Whoa, it smells so nice in here, Woodo. And look, it's a pond. And wait, is that your cousin, Jimbo Bob? No, Mongo, that's Jimbledorf. You don't remember Jimbledorf from my other videos? He's back. Oh, Jimbledorf, your uncle. Yeah, I remember him. Okay, Mongo, Jimbledorf is not my uncle. It's just my friend Turtle, okay? And he's chilling here, relaxing, being a good turtle, unlike you being a naughty king. Bye, Jimbledorf. I gotta go. Okay, whatever. What in the world is this would have wired those things moving well mongo you have to run across all this soul sand and make it all the way to the end but there's a bunch of these slime blocks in the way that can push you all the way into this lava so good luck oh no this is super duper scary but i got this oh no i just got a timer right come on come on come on come on come on oh no i am dying i'm dying what's going on you got launched to the lava mongo that's like your 20 billion death okay you know what i know the ultimate strat to this would already all i have to do is just break the slime block there you go Wait, what? Break you don't have to do that. What are you doing? And after that, I should be able to pass to the prize. What is this amazing red room? It looks so nice, Woodo. This is the best room in the whole volcano. Okay, Mongo, what in the world? You completely cheated to get here. But you know what? I guess you did make it to the very end of my volcano. And because of that, you get the big prize inside this chest. Whoa, thank you so much, Woodo. This room alone is perfect. But I guess I'll take what's inside the chest. And whoa, I love diamonds and I love enchanted golden apples. But wait. Wait, Woodo, why is there a slime ball here? You can take this back. I'll just take the rest of the stuff. Oh, okay, fine. I mean, I love slime balls. They're green. Thank you so much again, Woodo. I had so much fun in your volcano. But do you know how the viewers can have even more fun, Mongo? By watching the video on screen. That's right, guys. Make sure to watch the video on screen if you want to watch more fun adventures with me and Mongo. Bye!